Hi folks. In this video, I want to take a look at solving a particular version of the Ramsey model with some specific parameter values and functional forms that allow us to get a nice analytical solution. And in particular, I want to look at a version with full depreciation, so delta is equal to one, with logarithmic utility, and with a Cobb-Douglas production function. And with these specific parameter values and functional forms, as I say, we can get an analytical solution. And I'm going to get there via a dynamic appro programming approach using guess and verify. So if I write out our Bellman equation, it looks like this V of K is equal to the max, choosing K prime of the log of K prime, uh, sorry, of k to the alpha minus k prime plus beta times v of k prime. And I'm going to guess that the value function has this form. It's a constant plus something that is proportional to the logarithm of k. OK. So this is the guess part. How do we do the verify? Well, we verify by plugging in the guess into the Bellman equation, taking the first order condition, finding the optimal choice of capital, and then plugging that back into the Bellman equation. And if the two sides still hold with equality, then our guess was correct. And that should give us the values of these parameters, A and B. Now, this is sometimes called the method of undetermined coefficients, because these coefficients are as yet undetermined. OK, so let's plug this in. On the left hand side, we just have a plus b log k. And this is equal to and now I plug in the guess on the right hand side, but of course, Instead of having a plus b log k, we have a plus b log k prime. Now we take first order conditions. So the derivative of this with respect to k prime is the following. And rearranging this, setting these two sides of the first order condition equal to one another, multiplying both sides by k prime and then by the denominator here, we get that k prime is equal to beta times b k to the alpha minus k prime. And then rearranging, adding beta b times k prime to both sides and then dividing by 1 plus b to b. I get this. So this is our optimal choice of capital given our guess for v. We don't know if our guess is correct yet, but if it is, this is what our optimal choice of capital will look like. And as you can see, it's a constant fraction of output. So now to verify the guess, we just plug in this optimal choice k prime into the Bellman equation. Now you should be able to tell already that these two signs are in fact of the same functional form, a constant plus something proportional to log k. But let's just collect all the constant terms and all the terms involving the logarithm of k. So that's the constant term. And if we collect all the terms involving the log of k using the properties of logs, we can take the alpha down here and the alpha down here, and we get
OK, now these two sides of the Bowman equation have exactly the same functional form. This is a constant, and it's going to be equal to A in order to ensure there still holds with the quality, and this is going to be equal to B. To B here. I'm going to forget about the constant term because it's just a bit tedious to work it out. You can do that if you want. But I'm going to find B just by solving this single equation. So we have B is equal to alpha plus alpha beta times B. Rearranging, of course, we get alpha over 1 minus alpha beta. And that is the coefficient of log k in the value function. Now that we've found the true value function, or at least uh, this coefficient b, uh, we can plug in the value of b into our optimal choice of k prime up here to find the optimal policy, policy choice purely as a function of parameters, so getting rid of this uh, previously undetermined coefficient. So let's just plug in b here. And I, I won't bother doing it, but you can do the calculations here and you should find that this is equal to alpha beta. So our optimal choice of capital is just constant. And it's a constant fraction of output, alpha beta. So in this regard, the Ramsey model with log utility and full depreciation and Cobb-Douglas production function is exactly like the solar model in that we have a constant savings rate. However, in this case, S is not exogenous. Households are optimally choosing how much they want to save in order to maximize their lifetime utility. It just so happens that with these specific assumptions that have made, the savings rate is constant. This is not generally true in the Ramsey model. Uh, in the steady state, it will usually be the case that the savings rate is constant. But outside of the steady state, or in response to fluctuations, the savings rate will fluctuate as well. I can also find the consumption policy function, which is, of course, just output minus investment. Investment here, since this full depreciation is just equal to our choice of capital. Uh, so this is just going to be 1 minus alpha beta times k to the alpha. So indeed, consumption is also a constant fraction of output. That's it for this video. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one.